What's up guys, so in this haircut tutorial, we're going to be cutting up Dre's hair. Dre is one of the newest members of the Headlines family. He's at the Northdale location with me, and you guys will be seeing him a lot more often. But nonetheless, we're cutting his hair, we're giving him a fade with the man bun. You've seen him on the channel before, he's been on the channel a bunch of times. We always do something different. He's going to continue to be on the channel because he's got long hair, so what we're planning on doing is giving him like 10 different haircuts, like 3 different haircuts with the hair that he has now. Hopefully, we can use him as a canvas to learn. Nonetheless, man let's go ahead and get started all right so I know you guys are familiar with this face let's get that out the way cool now we're doing uh, the first guideline using the outliner and you guys can see I, I'm, I'm, I'm get, prepping it for a ghost line obviously right we're not with you know we're not going all the way past the hairline we're leaving a little bit of hair now we're gonna um, take the bulk out and this part right here, you're bringing the guard up as high as possible because you need the teeth to reach all the hair. So the the, the guards might go into the braids. And this is why, you know, typically I tell customers not to get their hair braided first. To, you know what I mean? Because that makes it kind of difficult. Sometimes when the teeth go into the braids, it might pull some hair out. But, you know, the other option is going with the grain. All right, so here we have the one guard. It's all the way open, and we're um, we're doing it. It's a big guideline because we're kind of blending down. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use as minimal of the one and a half guard into the two guard as possible. We might not have to use the one and a half guard because what I'm doing is I'm using the heel or the very back part of the guard and using that as my stability. So the teeth are coming off a bit, you see what I'm saying? And then I'm coming up and uh, that's leaving a softer line as opposed to a hard guideline. It just makes it you know, easier for that one and a half guard if you do need to use it to take that guideline out or that bulk out. And here we're using the one and a half guide. On some people you might not have to use the one and a half guide using this technique. And you know, I'm sure in the future I'll be able to show you guys what I'm talking about and that's the movement I'm, I'm using I actually think the, the the first guard I used to take bulk out was the three guard and I skipped the two guard pretty sure Alright, so now we have, we're have we going to start fading it pretty much now that we've cleared the bulk. Um, we know what we're blending into. And it's closed right now. And what we're doing is every quarter inch we go up, we open the lever um, a third or a quarter of the way open. And little by little, we'll reach you know, a, a point where it's blended. And the strategy when you're doing this is to finally get to that one and a half guide and blend it into there. So in this system, I'll repeat it one more time. You're clearing bulk. You're using the one open to kind of um, blend it into the, you know, the finished, the finished guard or the or the highest guard. And once you do that, you know you're blending that zero into a one and a half. Now the one guard is closed. And we haven't used the half guard yet and you can see it's it's pretty blended without the half guard. Now you know me, I'll go back and probably detail it with the half guard, but it's not necessary, right? And there it is, it's it's, it's pretty much blended, no half guard used. All 
I had a brief moment where I was showing you guys the movement that I, you know, that I use when I'm cutting. Using less of the teeth, um, less pressure of the teeth on the on the on the head than I, you know, than I usually do. I would, I would I'm using the heel of the of the blade or the guard or laying it flat. You know what I'm saying? Now we're using the corners, kind of, kind of feathering, kind of. See what I'm saying? And and it's blended, man. No half guard. So Dre recently cut the the braids off. He's down to a number three on top, all the way around with a taper. He said he just got tired of it. And guys, look out for the next vlog that's coming up soon. We're going to give away the, the Wall Legends. Not using them, them no more. So, there'll probably be a giveaway in that vlog. So, look out for that, man. I'm going to try to start using the uh, the Pro Alloys some more. And retire these seniors. Been using them for a while now. So, I was using my masses like crazy in the beginning. If you go way back to the first videos. Then I switched to the fast feeds and... Then the seniors and a little hint of the legends and some detachable clippers and you know we're just trying to keep the channel diverse and kind of make everybody happy. Guys, blending the beard is the same the same thing. You know, what I mean, you use your guidelines and the same guidelines really. You know. Doing look. This is always scary. When a client laughs like that a lot, there's a obviously a conversation going on, a good conversation. You can't hold yourself, so you move. You gotta be careful, man. Like I've never ever patched anybody up. Um, when they're laughing, I'm usually pretty agile, and I can move the clipper quick enough to where you know I don't give nobody no patch. I don't know if it's ever happened to you guys, but you know it's it's never happened to me. Cause I'm a, I'm a pro, man. I'm a master barber, man. I'm a, I don't ever, ever make mistakes, man. There's gonna be a time when you get to a certain level, and you, you just won't make no mistakes ever. Impossible. You're perfect. I would tell you guys that kind of just try to get through the beard shaping as quickly as possible with the trimmers because I'm just gonna I'm gonna come right behind it and detail it with the razors yeah man obviously the conversation is good you see all the laughing and stuff <laughs> I gotta say, without the razor, the line's still coming out pretty crispy. Once we hit the hit it with the razor, you you know it's it should it should pop to a whole nother level. And guys, I did want to point out one thing. Somebody commented some stuff, and you know, I looked at the pictures that he was talking about, and I want to clarify one thing. There's a difference between a close cut sharp line and contrast, right? So contrast will make a line look sharper than it really is. But you can see some stubble 
once you get rid of that that ash or whatever it is, it's just not as close. Oh, I just lost my mustache, didn't I? No, you good. What happened? I don't know. I was just thinking. Bro, I lost that bit. I just lost my mustache. Because <laughs> I was thinking about something and I just started laughing. And the messed up thing about it is I'm trying to think about stuff that's serious so I don't laugh. And then no, I this is the messed up part. <laughs> it's all on camera. Damn, mm. player. <laughs> it's all good. Once you put that razor on it, it'll be alright though. Yeah. It just look like a light spot. You got faith in me. I've right. seen worse things happen. <laughs> this video is going viral. Alright, cheer. Just make sure Fonzo tags me. Alright, guys. You know, I, I was feeling myself a little too much, and I was telling you guys I was perfect and all this stuff. Guys, no matter what, avenge, like, it happens to everyone. Something happens, and you're going to mess up. You can, you're never going to be too great to mess up. Humble yourself. Remember that. I just did it on camera, and I, I'm sharing it with you guys. And, you know, I, I kind of wanted to get you guys going a little bit. That's why I started talking crazy, you know, about per being master barber and all that stuff. But... Nonetheless, man, I think that's that's pretty funny. You saw his wife; she jumped it. She jumped and looked. <laughs> that was the girl in front of the camera. Man. That was hilarious. But you know, we put we slapped that 245 shader on there. We put the razor 245 razor on there. Quick little plug in, um, and we cleaned it up. And no, you know, he was going on a trip to DC, and nobody noticed it. Um, so that was a good thing. And. Uh, <laughs> Oh man, who would have thought you catch it on camera? It's been a while since I've done something like that, but it's gonna happen no matter what. It's, it's gonna happen. So, guys, nonetheless, man, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the, the commentary. Enjoy the rest of the video. My boy Dre took the shaver from me while I was... He took the shaver from me when I walked away to shave himself real quick. <laughs> what the? Oh, because he was he was trying to save time. Because he he um, yo, he barely made it to his flight. So he did that while I was grabbing a towel. That's funny. All right, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Do, do continue to watch. Finish uh, the detailing of the beard. Love you guys like always. My Tomb 45 family. Smash the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you on the next video. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video.